Hey everyone, this is Jason. I am coming to you from the virtual world of Second Life. Back in October, I made a couple videos of me riding some rides in that world of Second Life, and I wanted to come back and make a video and kind of tell you about what Second Life is and maybe show you around a little bit as well. So, let's start off with what is Second Life? It's an online virtual world that is made by a company by the name of Linden Lab. There is a web address where you can go www.secondlife.com and I'll make the address pop up on the screen so you can see that if you want to check it out. You can go on there and make an avatar like uh, what I have here on screen. This is my avatar in the virtual world. You can go on there and create an avatar and it does not cost you any money. All you have to do is sign up and you don't have to spend a, any real money whatsoever if you don't want to to get into this virtual world and check it out. Now, if you do if you do want to spend some actual money in the virtual world, you can do that and and it can lead you to do many different things, but uh I guess the next thing to be would talk about is what can you do in this virtual world? Well, really about anything you can think of to do in the real world, you can do it here. So, let's pull up my map real quick and I'm going to show you some things about Second Life. So, I'm currently standing on this square island at the top of this little stuff. Uh, five islands and that's what's going on here there's five islands that are all connected together now uh, there is a guy that owns this he actually paid real world money to get these islands okay and if I go over here so here's someone else these are also islands that someone has been spending money for in the real world over here over here that's what all these are so you can come on here and buy an island like this if you want to, to have your own private island to basically do whatever you want to with it. Now let me show you if I can. Let me zoom out. Because there is some differences. There is islands and there's also mainland as well. And I'm going to see if I can find the mainland real quick. There's so many things here. Is that the mainland? Nope, that's more islands. Well, as I zoom out, you can see all kinds of <laughs> different uh, different islands right there. Could that be mainland over there? Now, here over oh, here, yeah, this is probably some mainland right here. Now, this is uh, basically this is land that has been provided by the company Linden Lab and you can come on here buy sell rent land whatever you want to do the only thing about the when you're on the uh, the mainland is uh, you can have uh, pretty much about any neighbor they can do about anything they want to and you may not like what that person's doing so that's kind of some some of the things you can do is you can get land on mainland or if you want to go islands you can do that but you can also do what I've done which is I rent on a island my house is right here behind me this is a house my wife and I share right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a walk just through the community that I you know live at and, re and rent from and just show you our community. Uh, the community's name is Jono Estates and my wife and I have been living here for I don't know probably like 10 years or something like that. We've been here a while. So we're just gonna go for a walk. I want to show you like these these things you see in the virtual world Linden, Linden Lab provided just the land. Everything else from grass, these horses in front of me, the fence, uh, the horse uh, I guess they call this a trough that barn, these are all been built by someone. Someone had to build these things. My house, that was built by someone. My my car, 
that's sitting over there in front of my garage. That was built by someone. So the users, like you and me, are, are the ones that actually create all the content for the virtual world. You know, that tree? Hey, somebody had to make that. So if you're someone that's good with computers and building stuff, I mean, you can actually come on here and build uh, build things like that or make clothing like the clothing the clothing I'm wearing on my avatar someone had to make that you can actually make real real world money in here if you're good at that type of stuff and that's one thing that's pretty neat about this is if uh, is that if you have a if you're good at that type of stuff you could have a side hustle in here in the virtual world making things making money so you do need to have a pretty good you know decent computer to run second life my you know mine's you know pretty good it's not it is not the absolute you know best gaming computer in the world uh, but I can run it uh, and I can at least have um, shadows and things like that and I don't generally experience too much lag which lag being, of course, slow down. So, just walking through here, these are other houses right here. Take a quick peek over here. See, this one's been been rented. You can see the rent box right here. It says this person has three weeks, one day, one hour, and 55 minutes remain on the rent. So, besides uh, building things in Second Life, you can also do like what the guy that owns these islands is doing. He's uh, renting off the land. And people come and, you know, they'll rent rent that to uh, so they can live there. And the game, uh, well, I, I don't know if I really want to call it a game, but this online world does have a currency and it's also called Linden, Linden's, you know, Linden Lab, Linden's, they, that's what they did. So when you buy things in the game, you can, you're basically using Linden's to buy them. And there is an actual currency exchange rate with the, you know, US dollar, you know, to Linden's. Now I don't, uh fool around with that with uh, looking at the exchange rates because I'm not in here making money I don't really have any talents to uh, build things <laughs> so now I'm walking into town so we'll go over this way so you can see we have a a gas station over there See some cars sitting here. It's gonna walk over here, and I'll um, show you my boat. Is there stand? This is my boat right here, and this is a it's a boat slip that I am renting. That's this is it right here. It shows my re remaining time, and I have to pay that little guy right there to add more time. To keep my boat there. So as I walk down through here you'll see there's more houses and things up here on the left that uh, could be rented. So I'll go up here and take a quick peek. I don't know if these houses are rented or not, but we'll see. And they're yet yeah, so you can see right here they're for rent. There's there's signs right here that tell you. Oh, there it is. So I was looking for that the, the rental box. So right up here, it shows the address and it tells you. The price for it, 735 linens a week. And if I wanted to rent that, rent that, I could right click on it and hit pay and then be able to do that. But I can't, I can't, uh, but I'm obviously not going to do that because I have a house already. So 
So you can, of course, change the environment like our owner for this place has done. He has made it into winter. Uh, this is based off a of new New England uh, community. Is what we've done here. All right, so I can show you other things. Like, see, we got a diner. And I believe that's a uh, roller skating rink right there. And there's my wife right there. She, we've uh, been playing this game together for many years and we are married in real life just so you know we, we do this together and then we've also got things like there's a, a bowling alley right here where you can go and uh, bowl And then you, we also have, besides, like you can see that there's more houses. Uh, this part I'm walking around right, right now is like a business district. So you can, uh, the, the owner lets you can to like rent these shops and put a shop in here. Like this is a, you know, a sushi shop. And that says church, church office. So someone... We do have a church, and I guess this must be the, what the the guy that runs the church must have rented this. What else we got? And this looks like a game room. And we got another shop here. Uh. Looks like this one is actually uh, letting you adopt kittens and cats. So let's walk on up this way. You can see there's a speed limit sign, 35 miles per hour. We actually do have uh, police that can radar you if you're driving and can can give you a ticket if you're going over the speed limit and where that speed limit sign was also uh, we like we call those sim crossings it's when I'm going from one island to the next island and sometimes when you cross over sims like that some crazy things can happen because a lot of times it might be one server could be handing you off to another server and yep crazy things can happen so I'm just walking here we have a park with a little playground and maybe this is for ice skating I don't know just a kind of an open area here So we have an area up here to play games. And we also have a pool. Now considering it's winter, this would probably be ice in the real world. Uh, we could also make the argument maybe it's a heated pool. <laughs> Who knows? But if the owner of this place really wanted to, he could probably find a way to like uh, make, someone's probably made ice or something like that in Second Life here, and you could probably cover it and make it look like it was frozen over if you wanted to. If you wanted to put the work in to do that. 
And we also have a, a party barn up here is what we like to call this where we'll have different types of celebrations and, and we, we were set up for New Year's and I see the uh, decorations and things are um, still out just haven't got around to clean that up yet that's okay alright I'm going to make my guy run so I can speed this up a little bit more houses and things that you can rent and I want to show you this down here at the end oh, by the way now Samir I said I want an island and you'll see open water but if you know when I was fooling around with the map you saw there was other islands out there but you won't see them like me standing here on the shore I'm not going to be able to look over and see uh, you know islands but here is I uh, wanted to show you this police forces right here or the police station you got some of their vehicles right there they even got a truck for snow removal And there's a fire department right here. I don't know if I could open these doors. Probably not. And let's come around here. And we have a church too as well, which I believe is down this way, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, church right there. We when yes, we have had some weddings here before. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up right here. So that's a video that right there that tells you about Second Life and what it is. Like I said, you can come on here and get in this virtual world, and you don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. But if you do want to spend some money, you can probably get into a little bit more ventures and stuff. But like I said, you can still do it and not spend any money whatsoever. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and also ring that bell. That way you'll know whenever I'm posting new content. Uh, if you like this video, put a comment down below and let me know. And uh, I'll make some more videos like this. I'm hoping to maybe uh, expand into more videos with uh, video games and other things. So... Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you next time.